hello everyone today we are going to see about cryptons i am dr gerald antony assistant professor in chemistry sensarius college palayangotte so in the host guest to chemistry we have already discussed about the uh, fullerenes uh, podens and crown ethers now it is time to see about the cryptons so we have already discussed about this podens in the previous class so now we are going to see the cryptons so so what are cryptons this is a three dimensional analog of crown ether so it the crown ether is a, a cyclic structure here it will be bicyclic structure macro bicyclic structure crown ether is a monocyclic structure here it is a bicyclic structure like crown ether also it is having selective it has the affinity for the selective binding of cations and also it can act as a ionophore like transport it can have it can act as ionophore and have transport properties similar to that exist in podens so a bicyclic cryptons here the crypt means a cave or a pit small pit or a burial ground into which a metal cation is there so suppose assume a metal cation like a glowing ball it is kept inside a pit or a burial ground okay so it will be shining but it will be present inside the pit so it will be like a it is uh, somewhat hidden inside a pit or a crypt so mostly it was synthesized using high dilution technique and some other techniques are also there uh, based on its uh, 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 yield and also affordability they are synthesizing in different techniques so the first and important member of the krypton krypton series is 2 comma 2 comma 2 krypton because it is having a size similar to 18 crown 6 it also have the selectivity binding of k plus ions potassium ions over other alkali metals and its binding ability in methanol is 10 power 4 times stronger than its crown analog similar to 10 power 4 times stronger than its crown analog means here the crown ether so in methanol it can bind the k plus ion 10 power 4 times stronger than that of the crown ether so this is the structure of the krypton if the n value here you are having the n value if this n value is uh, 1 it can be called as 2 comma 2 comma 1 krypton if it is 2 2 comma 2 comma 2 krypton yeah so suppose if this n value is here the small n value 1 means 2 comma 2 comma 1 krypton and if this n value is 2 it is 2 comma 2 comma 2 krypton so a very a wide variety of synthetic processes have been developed in which a step wise approach in which two linear molecules will be having reactive site so these two reactive sites will be made to form bond with each other so a bond is formed now cyclization of this reactive sites will be taking place so a cyclization takes place now a third chain it may be a linear chain now we are adding a third chain so totally you can see a macro bicyclic structure is formed so before adding this third chain it will be called as corund okay so i have marked it so before adding the third chain it is known as corund
after adding this third chain we can call it as scripted we can again uh, draw this uh, step by synthesis so you are having two linear chains so here it is having a reactive side reactive side another one linear chain it, it is having two reactive side here one here one. both this reactive side will react with each other and it will form so a current now a third linear chain was added so the third linear chain is again added to it now it is a macro bicyclic structure uh, so this is given here explained here and here high dilution synthesis also done with 95 percentage yield so here you can see a as a crown ether so you already know crown ether in which an oxygen atom is replaced by nitrogen it is as a crown ether a cyclic sorry, a cyclic structure in which a linear long chain a cyclic structure is added to it so here it is added so here you can see it this chain is added here with the removal of chlorine and this hydrogen hydrogen and this chlorine will be removed as hcl now it is directly attached a macro bicyclic compound is formed and here the double bond o all the oxygen are reduced using the diborane so here you are having oxygen so double bond o it is that oxygen is reduced using this diborane and water and if the n value is equal to 1 that is this n value is equal to 1 it is 2 comma 2 comma 1 krypton if n value 2 it is 2 comma 2 comma 2 krypton and simple template synthesis in which two linear chains are there and it form a Uh, macro bicyclic structure using potassium carbonate and methyl cyanide and it is most preferred method because it does not involve any tedious long lengthy process of synthesis so when there is no lengthy process we can synthesis it easily so however the yield was very low here also you can see the linear chain and aromatic structure is there we can synthesize it so so next aza crowns as i already know aza crowns in which the oxygen atom is replaced by nitrogen so here we can use this aza crowns and uh, using the daza crowns also we can prepare the cryptons so as i have already mentioned about this high dilution synthesis method in this aza crown uh, uh, using this aza crown ether we can prepare the cryptons with macro bicyclic structure and they have unusual cation and anion binding properties so it can bind some cations and anions also Uh, so in this way a macro bicyclic structure is prepared using this uh, high dilution synthesis so using aza crown ethers uh, so here also another type of krypton that is known as sepulcrates okay in this sepulcrates cobalt 3 plus Uh, is uh, used used to uh, used to bind this uh, sepulcrates like krypton so here triskelate complexes are used bidentate ligands were used so here you can see bidentate ligands diethylamine here one diethylamine and this diethylamine is facing towards the viewers so totally there are three diethylamine tris diethylamine complex 
uh, so it will be called as sepulchrates okay here in this tris diethyl comma diethyl i mean com cobalt complexes we are adding formaldehyde and ammonia so this formaldehyde and ammonia co combines to form a new ligand and it will be attached to this nitrogen atoms present here trimethyl amine like ligand so it is attached to this position so it is taking place here so this is sepulchrate so it is another type of krypton sepulchrate so so you can see the sepulchrates are nitrogen capped metal compounds and sarcophagines are the analogous carbon bridged species which sequester the metal complex and is highly stable and is also un highly unreactive uh, so here you can see some carbon uh, sorry some carbon based sequestering of the metal complexes will take place and using the sarcophagines we can prepare stereo selective and regio selective cobalt 3 and platinum 4 sarcophagines so such one such type of an example is given below okay and another thing is it is prepared by skiff based condensation technique so we can prepare sarcophagines using cobalt 3 and platinum 4 as a uh, guest inside which it can be encrypted and it will be highly unreactive and it is highly stable so the main difference between sepulchrates and in sarcophagines is in sepulchrates nitrogen will cap the metal compounds here the carbon will also involve in the capping the metal compounds or sequester the metal compounds with this we can complete this thank you for listening we can meet in another one class